Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and today we are playing Maruto, not Naruto, in the new Vampire Survivors DLC and the plan for today is that I want to go... Oh, there's a second sword, beautiful. We want to go for all the swords in the game to have armor. I could go for that, I guess. It's on the stage. Do I want to go for wings or armor? I don't need anything else, so this would be possible. You know what, I'll take this right away, because um, I think this will be difficult to not die here. So yeah, the goal today is we want to go for retaliatory damage, that means we'll go for the Bloodline Arcana later on, not this early, and we only go for the three swords. That means we don't go for Fire Wand with explosions, you know, it also has retaliatory damage, but it's a huge AoE which I don't like. Same for Shroud, same for, uh, what is the final one that I forgot about? The no future, you know, because it hits the enemy so far away, and I thought it would be cool to just have a sword theme. So the victory sword, the knight's edge, and the Eskisibur is the name. Okay, level 4, base damage up by 5, and base area up by 10%, not bad. The pri prior upgrades, I think the prior upgrades gave it plus 1 projectile, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this looks horrible, did we just get a Carello that is super rare? Okay, oh! You have a finisher. Every fifth activation has a combo finisher. So one thing that confuses me a bit, if you take a look at our armor... Wait, no, we do have plus one armor after being damaged. And this is the effect? Huh. So the entire effect of this character is that you get plus one armor when you get hit. Um... Okay. Whoa, that was a really deep sound. Jesus. Okay. Victory Sword, beautiful. Are we strong enough to move out or do I have to farm more? Because we'll keep getting hit and we have no good way of recovering HP. I think I'm ready to move out. I think I want to have the, the Blood Sword. If I'm not mistaken, it steals hearts, meaning you heal HP. So that would be good. And this is all horrible, so let's just banish the Lightning Ring. But I think what we have to do is move up, go to the crown, not pick it up because uh, we need six items first. Actually, if I get six items, I could pick it up right away. So there's the wings, but I have the armor, so that doesn't work, yeah. Because we do need the stone mask and we do need the empty tome. Those are the final two. We need a stone mask for the knight's edge to evolve it. Sadly, it's, it's a very bad item, but yeah, gotta do it. So let's just run up, I guess, into the maze. Sure, why not? If you enjoy the content, then don't forget to subscribe so we can hit our goal of 100,000 subscribers this year. Why is this maze always so hard for me? <laughs> Somehow, I always manage to mess it up. You know what? I'll actually take the... Ooh, level 8, it's maxed out. That means we can evolve it. I'll just take this. Is there a boss somewhere? There's a mushroom, but that's not a boss, right? I, actually, it looks quite tanky. Does it teleport? No. So I don't think it was a boss, but in two minutes a boss spawns, and that means we already have the evolution. I don't even know what we take as the third arcana. Maybe just boogaloo of illusions to make the whip slashes a little bit bigger, because look at them, they are tiny. Oh, and this is the mushroom area. Yeah, they are very powerful. Okay. So here is the next Arcana. Where is it? Up there? There we go. And this means we can go for the Bloodline Arcana, not Blood Astronomia. We need the Bloodline... Uh, it's not here. Oh, are you kidding me? There it is. Divine Bloodline. The way this works is we get bonus damage based on our armor multiplied by 5. We also get more HP when we kill enemies with contact damage or retaliatory damage. Like, look at this, max health. We just gained 38 max health, by the way. <laughs> In just one go. And the more HP we have missing, the more might bonus we get, but also the more flat bonus damage we get. We just got another 100 HP, by the way. 100 HP. Just like that. So, yeah, this is quite insane. More Empty Tome sounds very good. I don't want to die here, and it may look like I'm dying. Honestly, I may actually be dying, I'm not too sure, but uh, take a look at our HP. It keeps going up, but we only get empty HP. The black bar gets bigger, and that makes it look as if we are losing a ton of HP, while in reality, we just gain HP. And there it is. The Evolution, Legionnaire, and uh, General Edition Projectiles that deal... It just shoots more projectiles. Holy... Okay, that is a little bit unexpected. Wait, and it shoots where I'm facing. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice, I think. Do they count? They count, I think. Wait, wait, wait. 
They count. Look at this. How it's going up. Look at our might bonus. Okay, um, how much damage do we have right now? 1k I see there. Okay. <laughs> um, do we dare to take on the Guardian? Uh, did you just see how little we healed from that? Oh, I want to have revivals. I gotta be honest. We only have one. The good thing about revivals is you come back with half HP. So if you have 90,000 HP, you get revived with 45,000. That means it's nearly impossible to die, okay? Victory sword uh, finisher, perfect. Uh, empty tome sounds good. We get a huge amount of level ups here. Let's go for Ken Lapador. Let's banish the King Bible. We need a stone mask. We have all the items. That means we can pick up whatever we want right now. And I'll just max out the victory sword. And there we go. Do we take on a guardian though? I'm still really concerned with that. I want to have the knight's edge at least. Yeah, that we have a third weapon to attack the guardian more often. Because when the curse gets doubled, I think this will be more than just difficult, okay? Uh, where is the final sword? I what just happened? I think we just immediately killed the boss there. <laughs> oh, there's the passive. We have less growth, but we get way more projectiles and I think this affects the amount of legionnaires probably, so right now we have six, right? Yeah. Let's go back there to... where is it? Oh, here. Right around the corner. So, let's check out if we have more. Uh, once we level it up at least. So there are six right now, let's keep that in mind. There's a big red gem, I think. Okay, there we go. Do we have more? Uh, let, let's just max it out, okay? Because we can. But I still have to find the last sword. And one more revival. That's actually perfect. That's what I needed. More revivals. Th that's the perfect item. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. And then we have one more projectile. There we go. I think it's maxed up. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, this is really nice. I like that. Okay. Let's go for Toruna and let's go up to the Guardian. I would like to kill him before we get the bonus curse on the Toruna, but I don't think that will be possible. Or just imagine once we pick up the arrow and get bonus HP based on our max HP. We have 3.5k max HP right now. That bonus will be huge and yes, we just maxed it out. It is what it is, okay? And uh, there we go. Oh my god, the slam. Maybe this is the weapon to get the arrow? I will go over there and try to break the crystal. I don't think it will be the case, but maybe, who knows? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think we can deal with the Guardian, by the way. Like, not at all. I think the Guardian will destroy me, in fact. Okay, let's see. Can I just, like, get the final weapon? I don't want to waste the final two rerolls. There we go, silver ring, beautiful. Um, okay. That was with the bonus curse. Uh, goodbye. So, uh, what path do we take? I think I want to go down to get a crown. That sounds good. Then we have the bonus experience. We need that to compensate a little bit for the loss. Though, because of Wicked Season, look at our growth. It's 28%. Every two level ups, we get 1% bonus. So, eh, it's not that bad. You know, Brazer. Nice, sure, why not? Oh, we got a chest. Is this... Why isn't this evolving the victory sword? Wait, what? Shouldn't this evolve the victory sword? Am I stupid? Soul solution can be obtained as a gift when victory sword and Toruna's box eh, are both at max level. Um, are they not? They are. Why didn't I get it? Am I missing something? I mean, I'm not mad because the universe is actually quite annoying. But like, sh shouldn't you evolve? Does the five minute chest not evolve? Maybe? Maybe? It could be. I'm not too sure. That is, I'm honest, I'm just confused right now. I don't know what to say. Okay, I mean, sure, let's continue. Uh, there should be a red gem back here, maybe, somewhere? Yeah, I'm not finding it. Uh, the next time, yeah, there it is. Okay, too late. How much damage are we dealing? 1.7k. 1.7k mowing through the enemies with the legionnaires. <laughs> okay, sure. There we have a crown, a little bit of healing. It didn't even move. It didn't even move in the slightest. Um, okay. So this is what it looks like. Infinite growth in damage and in HP. Yeah, uh, very nice. I want to have the red gem though. Is there maybe... Let me check if there is... There's a vacuum to the left, but I won't be able to get there, I think. Right? It's too... Yeah, it's too far up. I can try if I can get there, but I think it will be too far away. Yeah, okay. There's no way. It's way too far up. 
You know what? I will actually go over here and get the items. I should have just went there in the first place. Then we can get the bonus luck and then we go over there and do the rest. Okay, that sounds like a plan. I like it. May I just point out for a moment that I still don't have the knight sword? And no, it's not... Wait, it's, is it banished? Uh, I need to have a level up here to check that out. There's no way I still haven't gotten the knight sword. Like, that is just stupid. Uh, in fact, you know what I'll do? I will go up here. Oh, I didn't want to trigger the guardian. Oh, the it's with the curse. Okay, let's just run away. It's fine. It's fine. We died. That's it. And there's a red gem. That means we get all the experience here. All the experience that has accumulated. And now we are looking for my sword. Can I, can I just, you know, can you just give me the sword? Please. There's the crown. You gotta be kidding me. Let's banish, I guess, Song of Mana. Okay. Let's uh, get a silver ring. Silver ring? I, th this, this is a meme. Did I banish it? No, I didn't. Uh, fire wand, I guess. And as I explained before, I didn't want to have any retaliation damage weapon, you know, because Hellfire, when it explodes... There it is, the Night Sword. Beautiful. When Hellfire explodes with the Fire Arcana, this explosion of the weapon itself doesn't trigger the effect and then you wouldn't get this crazy number because it gets all the kills. Only the explosion when you get touched works. And uh, I don't want to go for the Night Sword here. Oh my god, I have to do this manually. At least we get a lot of amounts, so that's nice, I guess. Okay. Oh, what just happened there? How many Legionnaires do we have? Oh, j j j j just a little bit, okay. Uh, yeah, I got a, a lot of plus one amount, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Whoa. Um, okay, that's not bad. Why, is, why are there so many red gems? Oh, those were the Guardians, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get this, let's get this. Then we move down, we pick up the little clovers here, around the corner, and then we get the rest of the items on the stage, which means we are at max curse. Um... Okay, I'm actually healing, that's good. No! I'm already buffing up our HP! I didn't want to do it this early. Okay, go down and then we have to quickly pick up more items. I wanted to do this as the last item. I messed up the rings again, uh, the arrows. Uh, it, it's okay, don't worry about it. And down here are the worms. Should we just wait a little bit? Because we have to kill 6k of them for an achievement. Wait, how much are they healing me? Wait, that is so much. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, the Legionnaire is getting quite big. That finisher. Okay. You know what? Let's let's wait a minute or so until we get the evolution because then I can go for Limit Break again. Is there a boss at 8 minutes? Yes, 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 yes. And you better give me the Night Sword. Okay, not the victory. It doesn't evolve again. What did I do wrong? Wait, is only the first chest evolving? Like the, the minute two chest and that's it? I didn't know that. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine you're standing here with Saraband of healing on a character that does like bonus damage with, with healing effects or so. Like doubles all the healing effects on you. There is a character like that. Oh wow. Do you think we have 6000 already? Okay, we are at minute 10. There is a boss. Oh, beautiful. I didn't mess it up. This should be perfect if we evolve the victory sword. Okay, we didn't. That's fine. That's totally fine. We just have to be careful when we pick up the other one, like the next chest. And there is all the experience. That means the weapon is evolved. We can limit break it now. Sure, this will be maxed out. Look at our HP jumping up, by the way. Do you see that? Um, yep, 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 yep. Okay, and now we can do random always because we don't care anymore. And, um, uh, yeah, we just got a ton of HP. Okay, healing for 69, beautiful. Let's get the rest of the items. How much damage are we dealing right now? Only 1400. Oh, the problem is I fully healed up, so I deal way less damage. I didn't really consider that. Um, that was a bad idea, right? It would have been better to be at low HP. Uh, how do I lose HP here? I guess the only real way to lose HP... <laughs> okay, we have 7.5k might. <laughs> <laughs> that means 750 bonus damage on our weapons. Uh, there's a guardian. Do you want to hit me a little bit? Okay, but well, nice hitting there. But, um, yeah. Oh, next evolution. Uh, we want to have it right now, right? Yeah, while curse is active, the soul solution has to go on. That we collect all the experience when the growth is doubled. Go on, please, please, please. Go, 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 go. Little bit late. Just a tiny bit. Actually, 
No, that's totally fine, because now we can collect all the experience. Do you see that? Where's the rest? There. Hello? Yeah, we can collect it, and the moment it's over, we collect it with the growth doubling. So that's perfect. Okay, there we go, there we go, and... <laughs> that is so many level ups. Okay. Do we just want to go for Slash? Usually I would go for Boogaloo of Illusions, but seeing this, this crits, this crits, this crits. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how powerful we are? And now we have crits. How much damage did I just see there? I think that was 650, right? That wasn't 65,000. Yeah, there's no way that was this much. So, let's pick this up. Can I... Can I... Uh, thank you. I'm not at full HP. How, how much damage are we dealing? 800 right now. Okay, that's, that's decent, you know. I just picked up all the experience. Uh, there is a vacuum. I mean, I have to take it, so we're just waiting until Soul Solution pops off, and then we can collect everything, and the moment it's done, we get all the experience. Okay, are you ready for this? There we go. Uh, let's get... No, uh, well, yeah, okay, we only collect the item itself as well once it's done. I thought it's already collecting. Well, now it's collecting, there we go, look at this. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's beautiful. I like it. And look at our weapons, still getting bigger and bigger. Oh my god, that was 5k damage. Oh, wow. Okay, the hardest part is actually walking around while the soul solution is going on. Oh, there's the guardian. There was the guardian. Goodbye. <laughs> I want to see the deer at 25 minutes. Um, yeah, this will be quite entertaining. Is there a red gem somewhere? I don't see one. I just have to follow the trail of experience. Why can't I get through here? Well, maybe, maybe I can't follow the trail of experience. Never mind. You know what I'm really excited about right now? We have a bunch of revivals. Now, we could have went for a wake and get more and more and more HP every single time, 10%, which would have been nice. Sadly, you don't get a fourth Arcana on this map, so it won't happen. But when the Reaper kills us, we are immune to damage for a certain amount of time. Every single time you die, that happens, and we have three revivals, and we'll go down to half HP. That means we get half of our HP as bonus damage. Yeah, th that will be crazy. Yeah, isn't this the way through? Oh, I'm lost. No. Yeah, this is the problem of soul solution. <gasps> okay, and there's a vacuum. That means on the next cycle of soul solution, we'll get all the experience, and I'll walk up to the crystal. Now, I think if we... Yeah, are we damaging it? No, we are damaging enemies, right? Not the crystal. Did I just see 37,000 and 11k? Okay, okay, now we take the item. Let's go up here. Are we breaking you? We are still not breaking it, are we? It's, it's not working out. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like... Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it would have broken here. If, if it breaks with this weapon and character. I didn't want to spoil myself with the comments and just see if this character does it. But, no, it, it's not the case. Oh, vacuum! Oh my god, this will be big. And right as the bosses spawn. Okay, where are they? I don't see them. I think they're already dead. Really? Where's the dead? Oh, we are level 511, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fine. It's funny because we constantly have, like, a fight going on between how much we get healed versus how much we retaliate kill the enemies. And, like, I think we are retaliate killing more. Oh, no. I picked up a gold fever. Oh, this will last a very long time. Dex, don't forget to show off the gold fever, how far it goes. And I think I will just wait until 25 minutes, you know, without doing anything. I'll, I'll just sit here. Is this a good spot? Kind of? Actually, is that a good spot? No, I don't feel like it. I want to have the enemies coming from all directions. So let's go over here and let's just sit uh, next to a vacuum. There, there are no vacuums around. Um, I think I'll go to the bottom one there. That sounds good, as long as there are not the healing guys. So in case anyone is wondering how we are doing, we have 78,000 HP right now and 8.5k might. Um, just a little bit, you know, j j just a little bit, not that much. And, oh my god, look at the damage numbers. But yes, I'll be sitting here for two minutes straight without collecting any experience. And we'll just gather it at 25 minutes when the deer appears, hopefully with a growth cycle. Oh, it's running out. 
I've casually made 143k. That's um, that's nice. And look at the kill counter. It just keeps going up. So we'll wait here and then collect everything at once. And every single time a weapon levels up, it will re-trigger the weapon and we go... Okay, that's the plan. Let's see how it works out. Okay, I have bad news. As you can see, our growth cycle is about to finish. That means we can't pick up the vacuum. At least not to re-trigger the weapons again and again and again. Because I definitely want to do it with the growth cycle. But the deer is about to spawn. And there it is. Fight me. Fight me. Damage me. I dare you. Because I actually want you to damage me. Wait, we are not even damaging it right now. Oh my god. Okay, so it's doing the draining again where it takes our kills and gives it like bonus HP. I think based on how many kills we have. That means I can take it now. <gasps> yes, yes. Oh my god, we can actually do it. Okay, watch this. And now we get all the level ups. And it's going on. And this means all weapons we trigger all the time. Look at the damage numbers. Is it gone? We just killed the deer and like... What? It just started taking damage. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, super tanky anime, by the way. Yeah, do you know that boss? Yeah, that super tanky boss that takes like years to kill. Uh, goodbye. Even with infinite corridor, it took ages and we just killed it. Level 726, by the way. Uh, okay. That's, um, how much do we have here? 88,000 HP. Okay. Okay. Wait a moment, what is going on there? Is that a deer? We, we killed you already. But what is happening there? Something is healing here, do you see that? What? Oh my god, I think that's so hilarious. So this was the animation that powers up the deer, I assume. And we killed it so fast that the animation was still going on, but the deer was already dead. There was no more deer left, it was killed. Don't heal me. I don't want that, okay? And there we go, 28 minutes by the way. Oh, these are... Are they dying? <gasps> they are dying like flies. But they should die through a lot of contact damage. Wait a moment, I, ha I have to check out the numbers. Let's take a look at our HP. Did we cross 100k? Not yet. 98,069? 93? Okay, it keeps going up quite a lot. And there's the next vacuum. That means I'll just stay here. And we'll just wait. So the retaliation kills, it looks like they've slowed down a lot. But we are still killing a huge amount. Actually, no, it didn't slow down. I'm just impatient because I want to hit the 100k. Come on, there's the vacuum. Let's pick this up now. There are two more. That is so beautiful. And look at all the might bonuses and amounts. Oh, wow. This is the toughest wave that I know of. And we are melting them. Just look at the kit. You can't even see the kill counter. We are about to reach 500,000 kills. What is our HP looking like? I can't press escape because we're leveling up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we killed quite a few enemies there. We are still leveling up, by the way. How are we still leveling up? How long will this keep going? There we go. 101,000 max health. We are about to cross 500k kills. And there's the next vacuum. That means we'll level up for the rest of the game, I think. Depending on how much XP these give, I always feel like they give less experience than the prior wave. Um, but there was a lot of killing of the last wave. So, yeah, look at this. Look at, look at this. It just keeps going and going. 1,111. This is perfect. 500k kills. Oh my god. And 100,000 HP. We got the three magical numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just super happy. This is amazing. And now, to the Reaper. You'll not be able to kill him, okay? His HP is ginormous with this level. But I want to see our damage numbers that we reach. So, let's wait for him. What was that? Those are the Legionnaires! Do you see how big they- <gasps> Look at the damage numbers! And we'll die in a moment, by the way. Where's the experience? What? What's happened? I- I used a vacuum. What? Oh my- Oh, 10, 20,000. Was it a 100,000 crit? What? No, right? 40? What? I see so many random numbers. What? <laughs> How are we still alive, by the way? Aren't we supposed to be dead? Wait a moment, but what happened to all of my experience? I was 1111 the last time I talked about it. Yeah, and look at this, we're still not getting any experience. I don't think we were able to level up anymore the moment we hit 30 minutes, maybe? But that must be a change then. That would be so weird. Just seeing all these damage numbers is so satisfying. Okay, and that's it. With <laughs> Soul Solution going off one more time. Beautiful picture.
Are you ready for the damage numbers? 2.2G, casual run, casual run. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.